Shelter is one of the most basic needs of man. Little wonder then that the provision of affordable housing is part of the five cardinal programs of the administration of Governor Ibikunia Musum. Like other key sectors where achievements have been recorded, the successes have been through the Ogun State Ministry of Housing and its other sister agencies. In line with its mission to rebuild the Gateway State, the government has continued to empower the ministry and its various agencies in order to consolidate and maximize the potentials in the housing sector of Ogun State. A strong resolve by the state government and a functional as well as effective ministry is the secret behind the emergence of new structures across the state towards making housing more readily available, accessible and affordable to its citizenry. The Ministry of Housing has the primary duty of providing affordable and qualitative housing for the people of Ugun State. One of the very first steps taken by the Ministry of Housing at the inception of this administration was to complete all inherited housing projects that were embarked upon by the previous administration and hand them over to their beneficiaries. The Ministry then commenced another project to provide more housing for its teeming populace it undertook site service for 125 hectares of land. Out of this, 50 hectares of land has already been acquired and necessary work has commenced. This project is ongoing at Kobakbe village in Abeokuta. The plan is for the government to provide all necessary facilities and infrastructure and then allocate the land to individuals, especially low-income earners, so that they can build their dream home. The Commissioner spoke further on the motive for this initiative of government. We are undertaking site and services for a 50 hectare land. Even if it's more than, it's going to be about 125 hectares, which we have acquired now. And we are going to do site and services on this land so that people can come and buy any size of plot they want. And the reason why we want to do the site and services is that we want people to come and buy the, the land of their choice to, be, to enable them to put up any kind of building they require. We don't want to limit everybody to this uh, concept of um, affordable housing. We know that um, there are many people who have the money of their own to build a house of their choice. The commissioner also said the government of Senator Ibikunliha Musu introduced a mortgage system of payment in order to make housing accessible for people of Abeokuta who have been contributing to the National Housing Fund. They may be given a loan to purchase any housing unit of their choice and be allowed to be paid on instrumental basis for a period of, say, between 20, 25 years, all depends on your age. The younger you are, the more number of years available to pay the loan. They will be required to pay about 20% of the cost of the house, and the balance of 80% of the cost will be spread over a period of 10 to 20 years or more. The Ogun State Government, through the Ogun State Housing Corporation, embarked on the construction of various housing units within the state, with the target to deliver about 500 housing units before the end of 2014. To this effect, work has reached a commendable stage in areas like the Plainfield Estate at Obasanjo Hilltop, Abeokuta. The ongoing project at Plainfield Estate is estimated, upon completion, to accommodate about 76 families. 
As a prototype of the Housing Corporation's community, the two, three and four bedroom housing units of detached and semi-detached buildings have all reached advanced stages of completion. The drainage around the buildings and the security building are also being put in place. With the landscaping and painting of these houses already in place, the beauty and concept conceived for the new Abeokuta city is already coming to reality. In its commitment to develop housing units that are well-designed, environmentally friendly and affordable to buyers, the administration of Senator Ibikunia Musun, in partnership with the Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria, FMBN, has also commenced the construction of 200 housing units at Ladering Mission 1 Housing Estate. The houses, when completed, are expected to house low-income earners, particularly civil servants in Ugun State. The ongoing work at the estate is already beginning to take shape as most of the houses have reached near completion. The road leading to the estate has opened up the surrounding areas to development. Tiles, light fittings, most of the paintings of the two-bedroom and three-bedrooms at the laddering estate have also been put in place. At the formal commissioning of the Laddering Mission 1 estate on Thursday the 25th of June 2014, some civil servants who had earlier purchased forms were formally given their houses. The governor also promises that, at the completion, more lucky applicants would be allotted their own houses. The Ogun State Property and Investment Corporation, OPIC, is one of the agencies under the Ministry of Housing. After its repositioning, it also commenced the construction of some housing units in the state. The special advisor to the Governor on Trade and Investment, who is also the Managing Director of OPIC, Mr. Babajide Odusolu, spoke on some of the projects embarked upon by the Senator Ibikulia Musung administration through the cooperation. As I speak to you, OPIC on its own is involved in over three aggressive developments in the three central districts of Ogun State. We are working in Ogun East, we're working in Central, and we're working in West. As you know, Agbara Estate is located in Ogun West, Shagamu is located in Ogun East, and um, Abeokuta itself is in Ogun Central. And we have a very aggressive development plan as mandated by His Excellency the Governor to create ultra-modern developments in all these locations. We're fortunate that in Agbara, we're working with an existing estate, Agbara, Opik Agbara Estate, but the others, we're talking about greenfield sites where you're starting from scratch. And the idea is to actually turn each of them into a city with full complement of services. The inception of the administration three years ago ensured synergy among the various housing agencies under the Ministry of Housing. This synergy has brought about the resolution on the price and location of the houses. If you look at what Housing Corporation and OPIC are doing right now at Okemoson, we're doing two developments at that location. Cumulative, you're going to have 200, approximately 250 housing units com fully completed within the next one year in that location. Now, what we've done is that while we are taking to the middle to the upper end of the market, who don't typically have properties 
that meet the standard that they expect to have, housing corporation is catering to the lower middle to the budget end of the market. Now, these are not cheap houses because of the location. Obasanjo Hilltop is not a cheap location to build in. But what we've done is because we're a government-owned agency, as mandated by His Excellency the Governor, we've made the prices artificially reduced. And we did this by doing a lot of close cost-cutting and working closely with other agencies of government. At present, work at the Orange Valley Estate, Obasanjo Hilltop, which the administration of Senator Ibikunia Musun started not too long ago, has reached an advanced stage. The gate leading to the estate has been fixed, with all roads tarred. Electrical installations for each of the flats, the street lights, transformers and generator installations are gradually being installed. Interior fittings such as lighting, toilets and bathrooms have been fixed. The swimming pool and the clubhouse have also reached finishing stage, giving credence to the state government's resolve in ensuring that the houses are ready for the occupants in due time. Work at the Agbara Industrial Estate in Agbara has also reached an advanced stage. The Ogun State Government has shown a commitment to revive abandoned housing estates across the state. This is all towards making housing for all a reality in Ugun State. Through the Ministry of Housing, the renovation and reconstruction of the commissioners and legislative quarters, as well as the cultural center in Abeokuta, have now been completed. Various projects ranging from the construction of the Nigeria Labor Congress Secretariat along Abiola Way, the new Totoro Health Center, Four new units of ultra-modern mechanic workshops for artisans at the Mechanic Village in Abeokuta, as well as the farmer's settlement at Owowo Village. All these were achieved within the first three years of the Senator Ibikunia Musung administration. Indeed, the mission to rebuild the Gateway State is fully in progress, and the people are truly enjoying the dividends of democracy in all its ramifications. Omo Ogun, Isheya. No doubt, people value a roof over their head. As such, any effort towards the provision of affordable housing is something that they identify with and commend the present administration for providing. I've been in this estate for the past 14 years and uh, I can vividly say that the estate is moving forward now. Uh, for the past years, it seems as if there was no, no action in the, on this estate. But since uh, this regime has come in, I can vividly tell you that we are witnessing positive changes in this estate. We are, not, we are enjoying it. Uh, I can say the situation is better. Well, the concept is so simple. Here, as we are standing here now, we have 10 blocks here. And each block comprises of three units, so that makes 30 units, as in 
10 blocks, then three in each block. That makes 30 units here of two bedroom terrace bungalows. This is just a section of it. We have this same type in area four. That one comprises of five blocks, and that will make 15 altogether because we have three units in every block. So we have five in area four, though we still build them more, but to start with, we are starting with five in area four. To be one of the beneficiary of the three uh, of this housing scheme in Ogun State, so and at the same time I want to thank His Excellency uh, Honor, uh, Senator Ibikunle Amosun FCA for this laudable initiative that he has um, created in Ogun State, which is the housing scheme. I want to use this medium to appreciate His Excellency the Minister Governor for this uh, laudable project, because initially. Uh, I never thought it could be possible. I never even know I could be a beneficiary. But until the, re the reality is now done, that I am one of the beneficiaries. I, myself and my wife, we are lucky to have a flat each. So I want to use this medium to thank him and to ask him to keep it up. Because this is one of his several laudable programs that he has been doing in the state. So more grace to his head. The Governor of Ogun State, Senator Ibikuli Amosun, has reiterated his commitment to developing the educational sector in Ogun State. Speaking after presenting certificate and text to participants of the 2014 Walesho Inca Essay Competition at the Obas Complex at Okemosun on Sunday, 13th of July 2014, the Governor described education as the best legacy anybody can give his or her child. He said the celebration of the person of Walesho Inca was because he was educated and dedicated in his chosen field, through which he is now an icon to 